Today in Minneapolis, the trial of former officer Derek Chauvin continuing, and there was emotional testimony from George Floyd's brother and from a cardiologist who said George Floyd's death was, quote, absolutely preventable. Here's ABC's Alex Perez again tonight. Emotional testimony as the prosecution moves to wrap up their part of the case before the defense gets its turn. The jury today hearing from George Floyd's younger brother, Felonis Floyd, describing this photo. That's my mother. She's no longer with us right now, but that's, that's my oldest brother, George. I miss both of them. In his final moments, George Floyd called out for his mother. On the witness stand today, his brother describing their relationship as one of a kind. He was a big mama's boy. He would lay, just lay up onto her in the fetus position like he was still in a womb. He showed us like uh, how to treat our mom and how to respect our mom. He, he just, he loved her so dearly. The prosecution has called 38 witnesses, 10 of them doctors and other medical experts. Today, cardiologist Jonathan Rich knocking down defense claims Floyd's drug use and heart disease led to his death, saying Floyd would have lived if not for the officers. Do you have an opinion to a reasonable degree of medical certainty as to whether Mr. Floyd's death was preventable? Yes, I believe that Mr. George Floyd's death was absolutely preventable. A dozen members of law enforcement have testified against Derek Chauvin. Today, Seth Stoughton, a former officer and an expert on the use of force, summing up what so many others have said. No reasonable officer would have believed that that was an appropriate, acceptable, or reasonable use of force. So let's get back to Alex Perez with us again tonight from Minneapolis. And Alex, the defense now expected to begin its part of the case tomorrow. Yeah, David, and we expect the defense's case will be much shorter than the prosecution's. The judge telling the jury today that they should expect closing arguments on Monday. He also told them to pack a bag because they will be sequestered once deliberations begin. David? All right, Alex Perez there in Minneapolis. Thank you, Alex. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.